and I'm really excited to be sharing with you all nighttime skincare tips. So this episode, this masterclass was inspired by my dear client, Deborah, who I've been supporting for many years and would love to just make sure that you can hear me and see me perfectly okay while I take a sip on my hot water, lemon and honey, structured water, boiled in a glass kettle, filtered water, organic lemon and local honey. Oh, it's delightful. Hi, Lisa. Great to see you. And just let me know that you can hear me and see me perfectly. Excellent. All good. Great. Well, let's get into it. First of all, I warmly invite you to let me know your questions in the chat that you have about a nighttime skincare routine. And for those of you who are new here, warm welcome. My name is Rachel Varga. I'm a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011. And I've also had the pleasure of not only treating thousands of patients in the clinic for rejuvenating their skin with skincare, peels, lasers, injectables, and other non-surgical modalities. But I've also, uh, I'm also a teacher and trainer and researcher. So I love to support the medical aesthetics world and bridging the gap between the functional and integrative and biohacking world with the beauty world that I've been told I was the first to kind of merge. And now we're seeing that this is becoming a lot more popular and it warms my heart because your skincare and rejuvenation will only do so much. What you do <clears throat> all of the time in your lifestyle is massive. So if you haven't yet checked out my free 30 minute class on biohacking for the skin based on my research article that I wrote last year on oxidative stress, go ahead and check that out. That is on my website at theschoolofradiance.com forward slash freebies. And I'm going to be sharing actually at the end of this, some exciting freebies and gifts for you all as a thank you for joining me here live and keep these questions coming everybody because that's the whole benefit and beauty of joining these live master classes when I record them live is you get to attend for free and you also have the opportunity to ask your questions. So I just put the link in the chat where you can access my freebies. That's theschoolofradiance.com forward slash freebies. I give away so much incredible expert level knowledge in these master classes. And the way that I speak on the podcast and in master classes, I do kind of have to keep it at a grade five level. <laughs> So it doesn't get too complicated. So we are going to be covering the basics of a nighttime routine. And for those of you who are looking for that deeper dive where I kind of switch more into the expert practitioner, we really get into it and create that customized approach, book your one-on-one -on -one with me. And then you also get ongoing support and follow-up as well. Just had a few follow-up calls with a number of one-on-one -on -one clients here. And then of course my tutorials is where I teach you actually how to apply your products. And these aren't tutorials that I share on YouTube and also, of course, the dermal rolling lesson, the full lesson from start to finish, how to dermal roll your face, your face, your eyelids, your lips, your neck, chest, hands. Yes, we even talk about the inner arms and also elbows and the knees and upper thighs and also some of the areas that you can do stamping with. And this is a perfect segue because the dermal rolling side of things and retinols and peels, these are all done in the evening. And in your AM routine, that's where you're sort of keeping things basic with washing your face, not just a splash of water. I'm going to emphasize this for some of the new lovely souls that have joined us here. Don't just splash your face with water. Don't just do water in a washcloth because in my experience, those who are dealing with dry skin and sensitive skin, even those who have rosacea or say they have rosacea, which is usually just red, irritated, dry skin, they're often only washing the face once a day and not twice a day. And then with the exception in the PM in your nighttime routine, you're literally just washing your face twice, at least twice, maybe a third time, depending on the makeup you're wearing. 
to actually wash your skin. So the first cleanse in the PM in your nighttime routine is going to be taking off some of your makeup. There is no need to use a separate makeup remover, makeup wipes, micellar water, completely unnecessary. Simply wash your face twice. So once and then wash it again and then rinse it off with running water. You're always going to get a better face wash when you are washing your face in the shower or in the bath as opposed to over the sink. In the AM, sure, you can wash your face over the sink. And then you're also going to be wanting to follow that up with your eye cream, antioxidant serum, moisturizer, mineral only sunscreen, and then your makeup. And today I actually used the bright and clear solution. That's why my skin is a little extra dewy. And I also did my scrub this AM too. So I know that that can sound a little bit complicated, but it isn't. And the thing is you're probably using these types of products anyways, cleanser, eye cream, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub. You just have to make sure that they're the right ones for you. That's where the one-on-one -on -one comes in handy, but you can basically just browse all my favorite products on my skin shop. I have about 200 to choose from different ingredients, different price points, and I'm here to help you out. Lisa says, love the bright and clear solution. Yeah, this is a really cool product. I have it listed as a toner, but it's more like a solution. It has brightening agents like lactic acid, which is also an exfoliant. And I love to use that, especially this time of year, not only on my face, neck and chest, but also on my entire body for a little bit of hydration and brightening the rest of the body too. If you really wanted to brighten your skin, brighten your day, you could also integrate the anti-aging dermal formula. It's actually a nutraceutical skin supplement that I've had the pleasure of doing a study on because this is the time of year to brighten the skin. And that one is clinically effective to reduce pigmentation like browns and reds, but it also showed even in as little as four weeks, not just from my photograph analysis, but also with another surgeon on the other side of the continent, that in four weeks, individuals had brighter skin, pigmentation started to reduce, fine lines and wrinkles started to reduce, and also with the eyes. And this is the time of year where we're often seeing a little bit more puffiness, redness, darkness around the eyes, allergy season, itchiness to the eyes. And one of the best ways to actually overcome that is antioxidants. They help your body manage oxidative stress. And that's great, much better than taking something like Reactin or one of the over-the-counter allergy medicines when you can actually just take an antioxidant. And the immune active is also something that's really helpful. It's got NAC, Qcetrin, green tea extract, zinc, and vitamin C all in one product that is the immune active. So I'll just put that in the chat, the immune active and the anti-aging uh, dermal formula. You can find those on my skin shop. Those are really great for this time of year, not only to brighten your skin, but also to help with seasonal allergies. So I just put those in the chat, the immune active and the anti-aging formula. Love those, take them every day, they're fantastic. I notice a difference when I don't take them every day. And also helpful because you brought up the bright and clear solution, Lisa. If you are dealing with hyper or hypopigmentation, so little kind of like whiter spots on your arms or on your legs, this is like an uneven distribution of melanin in the skin. And the superoxide dismutase and a few other enzymes in the anti-aging dermal formula actually help to deposit the melanin more evenly in the skin. And their formulas actually even been proven to support things like vitiligo, which impacts a number of us. So just a little tip there. So again, AM routine, cleanse, eye cream, antioxidant serum, or the bright and clear solution. Those are great. Your moisturizer, you're typically going for a lighter moisturizer in the daytime and a richer one in the PM, especially when we're going to talk about things like peels and dermal rolling and using retinol. You do want to have a richer moisturizer for the PM. And then of course, moisturizer, then sunscreen, and then makeup. And Lisa, I have not been sick since I started taking Immune Active. Huh, imagine that. Those FLCCC protocols had, did us some good a couple years ago. 
<laughs> with talking about things like NAC and Qcertrin and all of that. So all these things, yes, great for the immune system. And when your immune system is operating really well, your skin is going to show it because your oxidative stress status is lowered. So what's the secret to great skin? It's having healthy insides, avoiding anti-nutrient foods. So do the Viome test if you haven't yet. It's on my biohacking page, the Viome test, B-I-O-M-E. There's a link and a promo code to save you some money, as well as some other things that I know you'll love on my biohacking page, like air purifiers, water purifiers, red light therapy, PEMF mats, saunas, and some other really cool gadgets to create more energy coherence in the home and uh, also some EMF clothing, which is also fantastic too. All of those things impact the skin. So if you're not purifying your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and doing regular detoxing and eating the right foods and doing and consuming antioxidants regularly, you're not going to have great skin. And a number of people in the skin space, they're not going to tell you that. They're going to say, hey, use the skincare product, get this laser done. But really, we want to get to the root cause, do some of that heavy lifting with living healthily first. And then you're going to be able to get more benefit out of your rejuvenation once you uh, start to do that stuff, which is going to be later in the year, the fall, winter. That's really laser skin rejuvenation season with the exception of some of the resurfacing and collagen promotion lasers, which I do a deep dive overview in a one-on-one -on -one and also timing wise in my tutorials. And just let me know that you can hear me okay and that I'm not, you know, choppy or anything because uh, we are live streaming here. Zoom's been a little funny lately. Delilah, hi, you mentioned 10 grams of collagen a day is ideal. I use Palo Valley brand bone broth protein. Love that protein. You can get that one on my biohacking page. I love it, love it, love it. And also Autumn, who's the CEO and founder of the company, lovely woman who's actually writing her dissertation on soil quality. Pretty cool, hey? Um, the package does not have grams of collagen, only protein. Is that a good source of collagen? My favorite collagen are two collagens right now, one of them from Organifi, which is also on my biohacking page. They have adaptogens and superfoods in these really easy to consume powders, and they have a really great collagen. There's also the golden collagen elixir that I have on my skin shop, and it has a few other cofactors in it too, but yes, you want to have about 10 to 12 grams of, pro of collagen a day to support healthy collagen production, especially with what we're going to talk about in your nighttime routine. And with protein, you basically actually want to match your body weight in grams. That's why I like to have a whole scoop of protein powder in my AM coffee. So I'm right off the bat getting at least 13 grams of protein to start the day. Women, we're often not getting enough protein. And protein and amino acids and peptides and all these things, they're really important that we consume and that we consume enough of them. So when we do things like retinol, dermal rolling peels, and lasers, and other rejuvenation options in the clinic, your body has the cofactors it needs to create the collagen and elastin. Because if you don't have enough of that stuff, I honestly would go so far as to say you're wasting your money. And I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to waste your time and money, which is why I'm so happy that you're here, because I cut the fluff. You're never going to hear me talk about a gimmick. I also I always wait for things to be on the market. I have this six to eight year rule for anything that's new, especially in the rejuvenation space. And funnily enough, we were hearing about CBD and THC and skincare about six years ago. It was really trendy. Let me know if you heard, if you also saw ads for products like that in the chat. And now we don't hear anything about it. So prime example of a gimmick that, you know, sure could have some impacts on some of the skin cell receptors. However, it just, it's one of those things that just really hasn't stood the test of time. The other thing is that peptides and skincare is not new. Since 2011, I've been working with different peptides and antioxidants in skincare. So this whole, you know, in the biohacking space, especially peptides got really popular a couple of years ago. And in skincare, it's like, oh, this revolutionary thing. It's not copper peptide. I love it in 
part of the PM routine with drum roll rolling, but it is not new. It's been studied since like the 90s. I'm so glad, Delilah, that you mentioned protein and you mentioned collagen because we typically don't get enough. And also thanks so much, Lisa, for mentioning the immune active. All right. So the PM routine, what does that look like? Well, number one, you've had a fantastic day doing whatever you've been doing, working, spending time with loved ones, looking after yourself, getting in some activity, doing something that's fun, dancing around, acting like a kid, maybe with your own kids and just having a great time. And you've had a great day. It's time to wind down. Part of your nighttime routine I want you to think about is when you eat your dinner. I know this is not related to skin, but it is because it's related to sleep. I really want you to have your dinner at say like six to 7.30 latest, and you're probably hitting the hay at about 8.30, 9.30 or 10.30. You really wanna keep that window of not eating before bed at about two and a half hours so that you sleep better, so that your body's actually regenerating itself as opposed to uh, your body's energy going towards digestion because you're going to sleep better. When you sleep better, you're going to look better. You're going to feel better. Your life will be, you know, full of daffodils and roses when we sleep better. And they don't call it beauty sleep for nothing. Eat your dinner two to two and a half hours before you go to bed. And then at about two hours before going to bed, that's a great time to take your nighttime supplements like your magnesium. And I actually have created an incredible magnesium. It's called MagnaFlow. And I actually can't make any more of it. I had it made here in Canada with a really, really top-notch lab. One of the top two labs actually in the entire world. Um, That MagnaFlow magnesium that I made, I only have a limited quantity of it left. So definitely buy it now before it runs out. And it's actually, um, it's a tablet, not a capsule, which is great. And the feedback that I personally have noticed in other people is that you start to really see the, notice the benefits after about two days. So two hours before going to bed, that's when you're taking your magnesium. I take majority of my supplements like the anti-aging dermal formula, the immune active, and many more in the PM before I go to sleep. I just sleep better. And just a little thing about the immune active, it can cause a little bit of nausea. If you have it in the daytime and you don't have enough fats in your system yet to metabolize it. So I like to take that one in the evening as well as part of my nighttime evening beauty routine. All right. You've had your day, you've had your supper, you've had your magnesium. You're not watching something really stimulating on Netflix, right? To get that high beta state cortisol dumping happening. We don't want that before bed. Keep it chill before going to sleep. Don't have a nightcap. Alcohol is going to be sure to tank your sleep. Alcohol is also terrible for you and your liver. There really are no positive benefits to alcohol. You've probably heard of things like resveratrol. That uh, I would say is kind of like, oh, smoking is good for you because it relaxes you kind of thing. It's, it's, Alcohol is just straight up not good for you. So have that in moderation. Don't have it too close before bed and definitely stop drinking commercial wine. If you're drinking commercial wine that's made in North America, yes, I know Napa is really fun and they have some great wines, but if you're looking for a better source, Dry Farm Wines is great. If you, if I am going to have alcohol, it's going to be Guinness or Champagne or 100% agave tequila and it's in very low quantity. Sake also isn't quite so bad for you too. But if you're going to have something, just don't have it right before bed. Really important. And keep your alcohol consumption to a minimum. Get down to maybe like a couple of drinks a month, not a drink every night. Okay, that's not going to be doing any good things for your skin and it will catch up to you. So now you're going into your restroom. Take your bath, take your shower. I always sleep better when I take a really lovely hot bath with two cups of Epsom salts, cup of borax, cup of baking soda, soak in that 20 minutes, get a good sweat on, do your double wash with your cleanser in the PM, shave your legs, do all that fun stuff, just chill out in the tub for 20 minutes, lock that door, probably tucked the kids in bed already. This is your time, okay, this is your time. You're doing your skincare, so wash your face in the bath or take a shower, whatever you like. 
but that fresh running water from the faucet is really important to wash your face, not the tub water. And then what I actually often do is I'll take a washcloth that isn't white and I'll actually just go around the edges of my hairline and also my eyes and jawline just to remove any excess makeup and instead of using my beautiful white towels for that. So do that. You don't have to dry your face completely. When the skin is still a little bit humid, that's when you're going to be applying, say, your eye cream, a moisturizer. If you're doing a really simple PM routine, if your skin's a little dry, a little irritated, just stick with your basics. Eye cream, moisturizer, go to bed, okay? Put your products on your skin and do your skincare and your makeup while your skin is still a little bit humid. Your skin will actually look much better. Lisa, I saw somewhere IG on IG. Okay, so it must be true. <laughs> that baking soda has aluminum in it. What are your thoughts? Well, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. There should not be aluminum and sodium and sodium bicarbonate. It shouldn't be there. So let me look into that one because the frustrating thing about our food quality is that it's going down. Even things like olive oil, they're typically blends of, you know, there's even canola oil found in a lot of olive oil. So this is why we wanna go for single source and companies that actually care, like Paleo Valley, like Organifi, like Qualia, that actually care about the quality of the supplements and the products that they're making. I use this like super hippy dippy, crunchy granola baking soda brand but the aluminum, I'm going to think about that. Thank you. This is why I love these calls and working with like really forward thinking, picky people because you'll bring things up to my awareness and then I will research it. And oh, yeah, you might be thinking of baking powder. Thanks for jumping in there, Stephanie. I love this. You might be, yeah, baking powder because baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Well, it should be, anyways. Andrea, what are your thoughts on magnesium three and eight? And what is your type of magnesium? My type of magnesium is magnesium bisglycinate. That's actually, there's many different types of magnesium out there. I think there's like eight to 12, don't quote me on that, but there's a lot. And the magnesium bisglycinate is actually the one that I use that supports soft tissue and across the blood brain barrier. So there's many different chemical structures of magnesium with different like functional groups that do different things and get absorbed differently. That's why there's so many different types of magnesium. Bioptimizers has, I think, eight different types of magnesium in their product as well. That's also a really great one. You'll find the bioptimizers on my biohacking page too. All right. So that's, that's what a basic PM routine looks like when you're first kind of starting out, especially in that first two weeks where you're sticking to a basic routine, cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, and you're exfoliating two to five times a week to stabilize the skin. You need to do that. You need to stabilize the skin and use the right products for you in the first two weeks before doing things like retinol, dermal rolling, and peels and even antioxidant serums, because some people actually can be even sensitive to things like vitamin C. And people often think, oh, I got some fine lines, wrinkles, brown spots, and there's this ad for this retinol or this serum. I'm not gonna bother sorting out the rest of the things I'm doing. I'm just gonna buy that because it says it's gonna do this, 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 and it's got this ingredient, this ingredient, and this ingredient. I'm just gonna buy it and you know, try it and hope for the best. We've all done that. We've all fallen prey to advertisements. Actually, the best products that and rejuvenation procedures that I've found actually don't even put a lot of money into advertising. Really interesting observation since 2011. Oh, this chai is so good. Mom, do you have some? Annalise gave it to me. It's delightful. I know, Mom, you're listening. Now everyone knows that uh, my mother attends my master classes too. She does all these things. All right. So you've done two weeks to stabilize your skin with your basic protocol. Now you're ready to introduce more actives into your PM routine. And two of the actives that I do recommend starting with are the copper peptide. I have fresh copper peptides on their way. 
and uh, mom, I'm ready to get something from you for that. I did nudge, nudge. My mom actually helps me with a lot of things behind the scenes. She's fantastic. Mom, you deserve some credit, by the way. I don't know why I haven't given you enough credit here. But my uh, dear mother, she is, what would I like to call her? My chief product officer. Yes. And uh, you got some excellent products the other day too, mom, which is great. Your moisturizer, you got a moisturizer and I, I think I might've given you a retinol too. And my mom also loves that bright and clear solution. The copper peptide that I sell has lactic acid in it as well as hyaluronic acid, which is great. So it's not just a copper peptide. There's other great things in it too. So if anything's ever out of stock, it means that more products were just made fresh to order for us and they're already on their way. So typically things aren't going to be out for longer than one or two weeks or so, but I am a stickler for fresh product as much as possible, especially for these really pure serums that are also compatible with things like dermal rolling, because we don't want extra things in there, especially when we're putting it on after our dermal rolling and microneedling at home, they need to be super clean and they also need to uh, be fresh. So the copper peptide is something that you can start to use in the evening as well as say the soluble C. It's a really potent vitamin C product. Again, fresh made to order. The packaging isn't pretty. Okay. I'll give it that. These are, these are basically made by compounders for me. And I've been using these products with dermal rolling since I started the industry in 2011, but the packaging ain't pretty, but it is in glass, which is fantastic with a glass pipette. And so you don't have to worry about plastics in that too, which is cool. How you integrate a serum like a copper peptide and vitamin C serum, the soluble C, I'll just emphasize the nuance here. The soluble C and the copper peptide, I just want you to reserve for evening use and with dermal rolling. Other serums like the super serum, the pro heal serum, the, the super serum is great if you want kind of more like skin tightening, like a tighter feel to your skin. The Pro Health is great for things like redness if you are dealing with a little bit of extra, say, redness and rosacea. And then there's also the Ever Active C and E Peptide Serum. Those and a few others as well, like the Active Serum for Acne, the Acne Balancing Serum, the Intellibrite Serum. Lots of great serums are on my skin shop. Just whatever you feel like you need or I've recommended for you, that's the one to get. And those are used during the day. So you apply those after cleansing and your eye cream. Then you put your serum on face, neck, chest, hands, and then your moisturizer, sunscreen, and makeup. And the copper peptide and soluble C, just get your skin used to those actives for about two nights a week for two weeks. And you can, of course, cleanse eye cream, copper peptide, soluble C, then put your nighttime moisturizer on over top, which is going to be like a little bit of a richer moisturizer. These products, the copper peptides and the soluble C, they're not the best for AM use because of the way that they feel. They're more intended to be used with dermal rolling. So the other serums that I referenced, the Super Serum, the Pro Health Serum, the Ever Active CNE Peptide, the Intellibrite, the Active Serum, the Acne Balancing Serum, those are all great to use during the day because those are going to really also boost your hydration. That's what's, that's a cool thing about using an antioxidant serum, especially throughout the year to boost your hydration if you are feeling dry. But if you are feeling dry, you're probably just not cleansing and actually exfoliating enough. And you might need to switch your moisturizer, which we do need to do every season, which is why I teach seasonal skincare tutorials. Because every season we got to make, we have to make specific shifts and switches to the way that we care for our skin and the rejuvenation. Lactic acid and the hyaluronic acid and copper peptide products. So copper peptide, soluble C, moisturizer. Use those products for two nights a week for two weeks. Get your skin used to that stuff. Then what I'd love for you to do is maybe once or twice a week in the evening, use a retinol. And I have a few different retinols on my skin shop. I have the retinol resurfacing serum in a 0.25, 0.5, and 1%. And then there's also the Rejudicare SRX Mild, 
then just the SRX, which is like the medium one, and then the SRX Max. And what you want to start off with is always the milder version. So you basically use that more mild retinol once or twice a week in the evening only after cleansing, apply your eye cream. Don't apply your retinol any closer than your eye bone. That's really important because you don't want to get retinol in your eyes because it can create irritation, itchiness, scratching, redness, and puffiness to the eyes. So no closer to the eyes than kind of like this bone that you can feel. It's called your orbital rim. So cleanse, eye cream, retinol, and then you, you can actually put your moisturizer on over top. So starting with a lower concentration of retinol first, and then once you're through that bottle after a couple months, then you'll order the strength up. So say, for example, you'll start with the retinol resurfacing serum in 0.25%, start with that one, or the Rejudicare SRX Mild, start with that one, and then we need to reorder, reorder, then go for the next concentration up, which is going to be the middle, once you're done that one, and then you go to the stronger one. One of the things that people do wrong with retinols is they, again, aren't stabilizing the skin first. So they buy retinol and then they're like, oh, I made my skin red, dry, and irritated. The retinoid reaction phase, that's actually what it is. And it's speeding up your cell turnover. Vitamin A has been researched on the skin to have benefits since the 90s. It's tried and true. Not everyone tolerates it as well as others. However, oftentimes when someone's integrating a retinol, they just simply don't have the other basic products that they need, like a good scrub to get off that flaking skin that can happen, and a really good moisturizer and sunscreen to hydrate and protect. Lisa, we use the retinol on days we don't dermal roll right. Yes, it's like you're reading my mind, and it's like you've been working with me as a one-on-one -on -one client for many years. I love this. Yes, we're first talking about getting your skin used to the dermal rolling serums the copper peptide and the soluble C, two nights a week for two weeks. Then you can start to slowly integrate one of the retinols once or twice a week at nighttime. And also with the retinol, I do want to mention the retinol eye gel. This is a specific retinol for the eyes. And all of these are available on my skin shop. So if you go to theschoolofradiance.com, you're going to see my skincare tab. Click that. It's going to take you to my skin shop and access a number of the products. You do need to create a login. And then also I have the Radiant Rewards. So you'll actually accumulate points and then save 10% off after a certain period of time, which is fantastic. As a thank you to all of you for your ongoing support and trust. I truly do my best to source the best products possible. And my recommendations are always subject to change. Every quarter I review the products that I sell and I sell about 200 and I review the ingredients list. So if I've mentioned something in a podcast, a masterclass, a skincare tutorial, in a one-on-one -on -one, and it's just flat out not on my skin shop anymore, it means that I've discontinued it for you know various reasons. Maybe it was too hard to get. And there were some issues with manufacturing, which is what happened with the vitamin serum, which was a great retinol for dermal rolling. But don't worry, I am going to be making an updated recommendation soon. And yeah, those are, you know, really the two main reasons why I will pull a product. So you can just reach out and say, hey, Rachel, just over email info at the school of radiance.com. Send me an email and say, okay, I was using this. What do you recommend? Or just book a follow-up call if you are a one-on-one -on -one client of mine. And in skincare tutorials, that's also always where I'm giving my most updated advice too. Question from Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany, looking beautiful. When you use retinol, you would not use the copper serum nor the soluble C at the same time, correct? Yeah, I would recommend cycling that. So using your stronger retinol when you're not doing your dermal rolling serums, when you're not dermal rolling, you're going to be using that stronger retinol on a night when you're taking a break. One to two nights a week with retinol I think is great, especially if we are going into the sunnier months because the next day after using a retinol, your skin can become a little bit more photosensitive. That's why we don't apply retinol 
during the daytime because it will make your skin photosensitive and actually prone to a little bit of damage. Now we're going to talk about dermal rolling. So two weeks to stabilize the skin, two weeks using the copper peptide, soluble C, two nights a week for two weeks. You're stabilizing, you're, you're whispering to your skin to stabilize it. Then you're talking to it with the copper peptide, soluble C, a little bit of that retinol. And then you were going to be having the conversation with things like dermal rolling. Dermal rolling is fantastic. At-home microneedling, I love it. And you can do this about two to five nights a week. So those dermal rolling serums like the copper peptide and soluble C, you will actually be then starting to use those after two weeks of being on them with your dermal rolling. And then the nights when you want to take like a little bit of a break from rolling, say you don't have time or you just kind of forgotten about it, or your skin is a little red, dry, and irritated, lean into your basic routine if it's red, dry, and irritated. But if you just kind of want to streamline your evening routine, you, do, you just don't have time to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes to do dermal rolling, then that's a great opportunity to use your stronger retinol. That's a question that I get asked all the time, which is why, uh, thanks Deborah, for requesting more information on this more than happy to, if you ask me for a topic request i'm gonna give it to you uh you know i'm not this person that's like unreachable or you know i'm just like you right i check my email and <laughs> do let me know your podcast topic requests and any questions you have just give me about sometimes three to five business days to get back to an email and if you are a one-on-one -on -one client of mine, you can book a follow-up call and all of that. So just wanted to clarify that just with timing. And with dermal rolling's fantastic. You're going to go online and you're going to see lots of people talking about how bad dermal rolling and microneedling is for the skin. You have to think about a few reasons why someone might be saying that. Do they want you to go into the clinic and buy a package of six of microneedling with PRP? Hmm, probably. And maybe they also just don't know actually the benefits of at home, regular two to five nights a week dermal rolling. It's also a huge time and money saver. And so again, there can be that angle of people just want to get you in the clinic, do your microneedling once a month for six months. The way I see that approach of only microneedling once a month, it's like living healthily once a month. <laughs> It's not really the best approach. We want to be more consistent. And since 2011, when I started in a practice, I took over uh, actually from Dr. Lance Satterfield's research assistant and really got to see this whole pool of patients that were doing at-home microneedling. They were in their 60s to 90s, some younger uh, patients too. And they just had the best skin. They had fewer brown spots. Their pores were smaller. They had fewer fine lines or wrinkles. And their skin was a lot thicker. So what does dermal rolling and microneedling really do? Well, those little needles, they go into the skin kind of like a triangle and they create a little opening into the skin. In clinic microneedling and stamping and certain lasers, they create this type of action into the skin, creating perpendicular areas of controlled injury. What a controlled injury does to the skin is it tells your fibroblast cells to let's make more collagen and elastin. That really is the aim of the game. We really want to feed our body properly, reduce oxidative stress, and stimulate the body to make more of that elastin and collagen on the face, eyelids, lips, neck, chest, hands, inner arms, elbows, uh, lower thighs, and also the knees. And it has been studied for decades. And the nuance with dermal rolling and microneedling though, is you need to use a really good quality roller, not like a 10 to 20 use roller that you bought online that's probably full of heavy metal alloys and actually doesn't have needles, but actually blades. It could be prone to rusting. It could not be made properly. Those needles could actually, if they are needles, could come out and get embedded on the skin. I have seen this. Actually, even locally, uh, there was a woman who bought a roller online and the needle actually came off and got stuck in her skin and she actually had to have it surgically removed. So buyer beware for this stuff. So if people are taking the angle of, oh, microneedling dermal rolling isn't good for the skin, it's, 
it could also be for that reason as well because they've just seen people buy the wrong roller and using the wrong products and having problems. But when you have the right roller, the right products, you learn how to do it properly with the right protocol and application method that I teach in my tutorials, then you know, you're gonna be good to go. I actually have never even seen an issue after dermal rolling. I've just seen beautiful thick skin. But if there's some variable in there with the wrong roller, the wrong products, the wrong technique, not cleaning properly, or your skin barrier isn't stabilized, then sure, you could be opening yourself up to having issues. That's where those issues are going to come from. So dermal rolling two to five nights a week, I think is fantastic. My clients that have the best skin all over the world do their dermal rolling and they get they get noticeable results from it. I love it when I do my dermal rolling because the next day my skin is just looking a little bit more plump and fantastic. There's also another nuance to a PM routine with using the DF Mobile. This is actually a device that I do have on my skin shop that you use the Focus Frown Serum and the Tripeptide Elixir with. I have a full demo and tutorial in my seasonal skincare tutorials. And let me know in the chat, those of you who have registered or are going to register today, that's really fun because in seven weeks, I teach you how to become your own skin pro. I break it down, your basic to advanced protocols and also pre post recovery tips and lots of other cool things. So let me know if there's any other questions here in the chat. We're going to wrap up uh, the peels. That's kind of like a whole other thing but I do have a few really great peels as well, including the active peel system, the AFA gel peel, and also the combination peel of a retinol and an antioxidant serum. And um, that's a little bit more technical. And uh, I, I would say that's gonna be sort of like another uh, class to give an overview. And then I actually show you how to use them in my skincare tutorials. Tiffany, do you need a different dermal roller for your face versus for your body? The answer is no. The MR3 is the perfect depth for the face, like forever. And it's also great for the body too. I do have a body roller, which is a little bit bigger though. So it can just make it a little easier to get larger areas. And just let me know that you can hear me and see me okay. Might have just gotten a little bit choppy there. Just having some tech stuff happen here. So I think that this is a good place to stop. Carry nighttime routines for the hair. The hair again, that's a whole other lesson. I have an entire tutorial in my seasonal skincare tutorials for the hair. I will not address that in this one. It's going to be like a little too much knowledge. This is already in this one quite a bit to take in. And as I promised, I am going to share something with you here. So this is perfect. If number one, you're a one-on-one -on -one client of mine and you would love to have a follow-up check-in with me, and then also, if you are new here and we haven't yet had the pleasure of meeting, I would love to meet you. So I've just put this link in the chat. I'm having some serious tech issues, so I th it's definitely time to wrap up. Out of disk space on my computer from saving all these videos. I'll just give it a second to load. Okay, there we go. So that link will get you a um, complimentary session with me. So be sure to click that link before I close out this masterclass. I'd love to meet you. I give a ton of free information here, but really the best information for you is always going to be from a one-on-one -on -one and then in the skincare tutorials. But what I talk about on masterclasses and on the show are also going to be very good supplementary information as well. Great question about vitamin C, not creating photosensitivity. Vitamin C is actually helpful in the day. Uh, it's, it's only the retinol that creates that sensitivity. 
All right. So that is a wrap, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. I'm going to close out this lesson before my computer crashes here. <laughs> this is real life. This is real life, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to click that link in the chat. It's going to give you access to booking a time with me. I'd love to meet you, especially if you're new here. There's some names that I haven't yet had the pleasure of meeting, and I love to connect with each and every one of you. All right, that's a wrap, everybody. And I will see you again in our next masterclass or in our call here. Have a great day. And don't forget to book your one-on-one -on -one and join my tutorials. Everything's at theschoolofradiance.com. Check out any of the products that I referenced in today's lesson as well on my skin shop or also my biohacking page. Love you all so much. So grateful for each and every one of you being here so that you're getting more high level expert information that is going to be supportive of you on your journey here. All right. Bye.